In this video, I'm going to be taking on one of the strongest forts in Shadow of War, but I'm going to be going into the fort with no orcs at all and no bodyguard. I've allowed myself the chance to recruit one orc per point, so let's get into this challenge. Alright, let's take a look. Am I going to do the challenge in this fort? Ooh, the overlord does look pretty good. Level 940. Oh, it's a nice overlord. A tower slave variant. Wow, I think that's pretty rare and he is also very good. Ooh, I think we're going to do this fort just for the overlord. He is very cool. Let's take a look at the rest. All pretty generic orcs. Yep, I've seen all of these before. And yep, two Kosh the shamans. They're all very strong. This is going to be a good challenge, guys. These are all very, very strong orcs. I'm heading in with no one. Let's get in there. Let's cause some chaos. Since I have no orc friends at all, I am by myself right now. I'm going to utilize the Drake. I'm going to light these guys on fire. And there we go. My hope is that they become enraged and they start fighting each other. I'm going to use all the sneaky backhanded tactics that Shadow of War has. Gonna release this second Drake here, cause a bit of chaos. And there we go, they have already killed each other. The beast has fallen to the scorpion. The scorpion is very aggressive, that is what he does. He loves nothing more than to team kill. Let's have a wee conversation. Taking one more step into this fort. You know what, the scorpion is so legendary and so cool. I think I'm gonna take the scorpion. I think he's gonna be the first orc that I recruit. Wait, hang on a second. There are two scorpions at this first point. Oh my god. Thankfully, they are not our proof. There's the second one, Borgu. I actually recognize both of them. Um, this is the one that killed his friend, the beast, so I can't take him. He's gonna get the old palms to the face, you're a big disgrace. And there we go. I've grabbed the scorpion that I wanted. I mean, not the one that I wanted, just any scorpion will do. And there we go, I got my first orc here, and it's a bloody scorpion. Powerful, strong, aggressive, loves to team kill. Am I describing myself? Yes, a little bit. Moving on to the second point and three new orcs. I'm deciding to just shoot everything here. My hope is that one of them would get a little bit broken from the hornets, but nope, that has not happened. But I spot in the distance that there is another orc at a different point. I'm not messing around here, guys. I am going to utilize all the tricks here. I am running ahead to get him. It looks like it is the Guardian of Mordor. I'm taking him. This is my official second orc from the second point. Yep, I'm taking him. But wait, who is this? Of course he's here. Of course. Right, well, I'll uh, deal with that later. Yep, back a bug. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, mate. As I'm running back, the X-Binder is cut in half by the scorpion. Whenever I get back to this point, I am absolutely destroyed here by the flame of war. I'm like, oh my god, is this over? Is it over? Thankfully not. Usually whenever you get an orc that is insanely strong like this flame of war, they don't have no chance. And he is going to regret not killing me. But actually no, because he's got death defying. <laughs> I hate death defying. And speaking of hatred, is that a hoglick? Oh, I can already smell his stench. I suppose you think you're special. I've seen it all and killed them all. You'll be no different. I use my newfound hoglick rage to go to town on this other guy here. I shoot the barrels and then I use my elven light with my machine armor to cause generally just explosions everywhere. I've also got the poison elven light so that we use the poison. The explosives go out, which creates bale fire, which I think is just great whenever you're outnumbered. I'm going to enjoy cutting you open in the name of our master. I'm sure the grog burner is a big fan of my explosive armor set. Rest assured, if something lights up, I am shooting it. I'm just causing as much chaos as possible here. We are a little bit outnumbered here, but it is nice that I've got two orcs already at this early stage, and looks like I'm going to grab my third orc here. For the third point, look at that, it is the Grog Burner. Pretty cool orc, very strong. He'll make a great addition to the team, and with that, we have taken the third point. On to the fourth point, which has a bag of bug. But before that, I'm gonna kill this hoglick. No, 
I won't go down this season. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> now I remember one of the reasons why I hit Hoglick. I absolutely effing hit Death Defying. I hit it so much. I really hit it. Honestly, I I can't bear it. I hate you, Hoglick. I have a weird gloopy chat with the undead Thunderhead, and then I have a very exhilarating chat with Vagabug. Well, 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 well. If you guys haven't seen my last Vagabug in the pits video, it's actually a Vagabug that speaks, so make sure you go and check that out. Also, let's take a break to talk about the sponsor of this video. Uh, there is no sponsor, it's me. Subscribe. I push the mighty Vagabug away and then I use an explosive attack to try and create some distance here. One of my orcs is down, I'm able to dash away and get him up before Vagabug takes me out. Then something weird happens. I think Vagabug either runs away or he dies or despawns because he is just gone now. I don't know where he went. He might have died, he was kind of weak there. He may have died to one of my orcs and the animation just didn't play because... Yeah, he's gone. I don't know where he is. Leave a comment down below guys, where do you think Bagabug has gone? Has he gone to... Has he gone to Wendy's? Has he gone to Five Guys? Let me know. Maybe he's gone to your mum's house? I don't know. I'm not a flippin' orc psychiatrist, I don't know where Bagabug's gone. I'm gonna shame down Gooby Blackheart because apparently he killed someone. Ooh! Maybe he killed Bagabug. He's level 81, he had to have killed someone. Anyway, he's not a maniac. No, he's level 85. You're welcome, person who owns this fort. I then completely destroy the undead Thunderhead. Alright guys, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. This is a challenge video. I... I... I have to do this. I... I... I want to work with this hoglick. I'm trying to work out my differences. My orc psychiatrist says this is gonna be good for me, so... Hoglick. You're on the team, lad. I have your back. Onto the inner gate. I jump down and I take out the Drake flamethrower like an absolute badass. I jump in here, attack this orc. Then I shoot the Drake in the head, jump on its back, and I'm going to use its flames to try and create some chaos. But not before another Thunderhead is killed. Goodbye, Thunderheads. It's not a good day for Thunderheads. They're getting killed left, right, and center. I'm using my flames here. The orcs are enraged, but my orcs are already there, so I move on to the next point. I'm gonna try and spark some team killing with the Drake's flames. I do an absolute badass backflip onto the roof. After I wipe away the destroyer spit from my face, I take the first inner point. He's crazy, he's strong, he's cool. Let's get him into our team, lads. You cannot be at my side, you will fight! <laughs> I then cause a little bit more confusion, a little bit more chaos with my elven light explosions. While I'm doing a ground execution on one of the orcs, the machine hits me with his spear, downing me. Is the run about to end from some bullshit? No, thankfully not. I would have been very angry if I'd gotten beaten like that, and I decided to actually recruit the machine as my last orc, you know? Might as well. Might as bloody well. Let's not take any chances here. And there we go. Boom! Cost the shaman! What a kill cam! My god, taken out by the flying axes. And with that, we take the final point before I move on to finish off the final Olaf. Mordor is not yours. After finishing off the final Olog, I then moved on to the final orc, and of course, it's Kosh the Shaman. Shaman actually won my Marvel Pit Fight tournament recently. I'll leave a link to that in the comments down below. This is what I've been waiting for. The Overlord looked absolutely badass. Let's take a look at him. No witty reply from Talion because he doesn't reply to crazy. He really should. Let's have a gander at this orc the fool. Mog the fool. Yep, he's very good. He's very cool. I want him. Oh! Oh! <laughs> They're just enraged fighting each other immediately. That is a massive flaw 
in this throne room. I think the challenge just got a lot easier here, lads. I can just focus on mincing my way through these random grunts and ologs. And there we go. The reckless bodyguard has been cut down by his own master. No wonder he's called the fool. Classic enraged tower behavior. He's unhinged. I'm sorry, reckless. You deserved better. Justice for the reckless. After that, this tower fool charges after me in a fit of rage. But I'm able to dance around him using my unlimited dash ability. Never mind, actually, he got a hit on me there. <laughs> I get in there with the explosive elven light. Hit him with the old explosive attack again. No, I've got my machine armor on, so it is explosions for days. I get a little bit relaxed, and he actually gets a hit on me here, downing me. And I'm like, oh my god, it's over. But no, it's not. He does not have no chance because he is insanely strong and the orcs that have like 7766 six, six, never usually have no chance. After that thought provoking chat I move on in for the kill. He is now weak enough for me to recruit but he's enraged. I'm pretty sure he's getting enraged by the cursed energy irradiating from the floorboards so I need to like make sure he doesn't get hit by any of that I'm gonna keep him around the throne room let's get rid of more of these grunts my undeads are kind of distracting him a little bit here just gonna keep getting rid of these grunts and there almost come on mate calm down calm down calm down mate there we go lovely challenge complete I got myself a very very cool Overlord here a very cool slave tower variant. I actually don't know how that happens like That's crazy He must have gotten a slave to kill him and then the slave became the tower like I I've never seen that happen I'd love to see a video of that happening, but I have never I didn't even think that was possible But there we go challenge complete fort conquered going into the fort with no orcs no bodyguard being able to recruit one orc per checkpoint. And there we go, it is done. It took me bloody 22 minutes though, God! That was a long fort. But thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video and please do subscribe!